Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of chemistry. So we are having chemistry again, and today we are going to be looking at order, order of reactions. Order of reaction. This is not a new topic to us. All right, so uh, let's go to our O3 Schools Jump app. Like we have said, it is all you need to succeed in your exam. All right, let's see a question on order of reactions from the O3 Schools Jump app. Okay, this is a 1999. This is my app on my phone. This is a 1999 question number 26. Okay, it is being currently displayed on your screen. We're giving the question x plus y equals to z and they say the rate equation for the chemical reaction above is um minus change in x over the uh, change in time all right it's equal to k that the rate constant x square then y concentration of x square then concentration of what of y they say the overall order of the reaction is it's a very very simple question but if you do not know anything about that reaction you will feel it woefully there are millions of questions on this app, all right, for all subjects and just to be activated at the time of shooting this video for just 3,000 Naira. Please go to Play Store, download the Otis School Jam app because it is all you need to succeed in your exam and you can join us in this class. First of all, before we answer this question and even many other questions on the app on this topic, let us first of all talk about order of reactions so that we know how we can be able to approach questions like that when we see them. All right, so order of reactions. The order of a reaction can be found by experiment. So we use experiment to find the order of what of reactions. Okay, some people have erroneously or wrongly referred to the molecularity, to the molecularity or the stoichiometry, stoichiometric coefficient as the order of reaction some people have wrongly referred to the molecularity or the stoichiometric coefficient as the order of reaction all right why this can be true right it is good to know that in elementary reactions elementary reactions in elementary reactions all right in elementary reactions as the word depict elementary Right, a reaction between what an element and another element. Okay, free elements. So elementary reactions are reactions between what free elements and not compounds. Okay, reaction between free elements and not what compounds. So in elementary reactions, the molecularity, the stoichiometric coefficient, and even the order order of reaction are all what they are all the same. Okay, in elementary reactions, both the molecularity both the stoichiometric coefficients as well as the order of reactions are all the same. Just follow closely because this we are trying to what do what a building to what to the main point. Okay, so now let's see an example of an elementary reaction. Let's say magnesium, right, which is what an element reacting with oxygen O2 to give you a magnesium oxide. Okay, MgO. As you can see clearly, clearly if you do if you are not wearing a goggle. That is blocked. All right, you can see clearly that this equation is not balanced in any way. Okay, because we have one atom. Some people have messaged me and say, "Ah, sir, master T, I don't know how to balance. Uh, I don't know how to balance uh, chemical reactions. Okay, I don't know how to balance. It's very, very easy. Okay, so one, there's one atom of magnesium here. Okay, and there, there are two atoms of oxygen here. All right, and in the product, we have in what one atom of magnesium. Meaning that what initially this magnesium is what is balanced, isn't it? But the oxygen is just one atom here, yeah, meaning that what the oxygen is not balanced. So, what can you now do to make here two to make this oxygen atom two? All right, if you put two here behind here, that means this two is affecting both the Mg and the O, right? Okay, and then here now becomes two atoms of magnesium and two atoms of oxygen. That means oxygen is not balanced, the magnesium is not now balanced again because. There's one atom of magnesium here. So what you simply do is to have two atoms of what of magnesium at the reactant side to make it a balanced equation. Now we have two atoms of magnesium, two atoms of what of oxygen. And in the product, we have 
two atoms of magnesium and two atoms of water of oxygen then we have a balanced equation very simple that's how to balance equation all right although there are so many other more complicating what uh complicated what equations that you may need to balance but it's also the same ideology okay so let's go let's go ahead now in elementary reactions like this like this where you are seeing magnesium reacting with oxygen to give you what magnesium oxide okay the stoichiometric coefficients here stoichiometric coefficients are what we have two for what magnesium right there are two atoms of magnesium so the stoichiometric coefficient here in this reaction is what two for magnesium and then one for what for oxygen okay one for what for oxygen there's one atom of what oxygen atom uh, there's one um, uh, atom of what oxygen here okay one molecule sorry of oxygen here and there were there are two atoms of what magnesium here so two for mg just take the numbers behind the word the element and then one for what for o2 it's not the thing here we do not we don't we don't usually write one o2 okay so it is there but we don't write it okay so that's one for oxygen and then two for magnesium that means that what that the molecularity the stoichiometric coefficient and the order of reactions in the elementary reactions are what are all what the same okay the stoichiometric coefficient here will be what will be two plus one overall that means that the order of reaction here will also be what two plus one which is called what theory it's very simple all right so now but we need to forge ahead because we have said earlier that we can only find what the order of reaction by doing what experiments okay now let's start doing this experiment let's say we have uh, a reaction between two substances x and y a reaction between two substances x and y all right we will find out how the rate of reaction how the rate of reaction re, uh, 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 relates all right how the rate of reaction relates or resembles what the concentration how it varies with the concentration how the rate of reaction the rate of reaction of reaction right relates to the concentration to the concentration all right we want to find out how the rate of reaction relates to the concentration and we're having two substances x and what and y so what we we may find out what we may call is an experiment it's an experiment what we may find out is that what that the rate of reaction r right is directly proportional to concentration of what of x raised to power x right then concentration of what of y raised to power what y okay this is what we may what we may find out okay now this means that if i'm throwing away this sign of proportionality we are going to be introducing a constant that means our r here will be because of what k into what sorry, sorry concentration of x raised to power x concentration of y raised to power of y okay where this box here this box this x inside this box mean like this now mean what concentration concentration of what of of x of x with respect to x to small x and then why this one y will be what concentration of y with respect to what to y okay sorry with respect to what small letter y now okay so this is what we what we find out we find out what that the rate of what of reaction is proportional to concentration of x raised to power what x concentration of y raised to power what y so that the order of the reaction will be the powers of what of this what of this x and y okay of the reactants okay the power the, the other reaction will be the summation of the powers of what of this concentration of s and concentration of what of y okay that means that the overall order here overall order here will be because of what now x plus y as simple as abc okay so we'll conduct an experiment involving the reaction between two substances x and y what we what we may find out is this we find that the rate of reaction is proportional to what the concentration of x raised to power x concentration of y raised to power, raised to power what y so that the overall order of the reaction will be because of what now x plus y we introduce what a constant k here this k here is called the rate constant k k is called rate constant all right it's called what the rate constant and the rate constant varies with what with temperature it varies with temperature temperature and two presence 
of catalysts. All right, the rate constant K varies with temperature and what presence of catalyst. Please put that at the back of your mind. It's an exam, it's a typical exam question. All right, so put that at the back of your mind. All right, so now we have seen an experiment. We are able to what to depict what how what how we we'll find what the order of what the what of the reaction. Now let's see another experiment involving a reaction between two substances A and B, and this time. We are not trying to find how the uh, rate of what rate of the reaction vary with the concentration, but we are trying to look for how the rate of the reaction varies when the concentration of one of the reactant changes. When the concentration of one of the reactant changes, let's see that. Okay, so now we are looking at what the rate of a reaction, right? Um, how it what how it varies with what with the change in concentration of what one of the reactants all right so now let's say we're having what we're conducting another experiment now we're having what two substances a and b i want to find out right what happened to the rate of the reactant of the rate of the reaction as the concentration of what let's say a changes or as the concentration of what b changes as you may have it so what we may find out we may find what we'll find out some, some interesting results one we may find out that well at the rate of reaction Right, is directly proportional to the concentration of A. One, we find that the rate of reaction is directly proportional, directly proportional to the concentration of what of A. This is what we may find out. We find out that the rate of reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of A. And what does that mean? That means that when the concentration of A changes or increases by a factor of 2, right? Let's say the concentration of A increases by a factor of 2. It means that the rate of what of the reaction will also increase by a factor of 2. Why? Because of this direct proportionality. That means whatever happens to what? To the concentration of A, it will directly affect the rate of reaction of what of that a right so it's as simple as that that means if the concentration of a increased by a factor of four it means that the rate of reaction will also increase by a factor of four because it's a direct what proportionality so because we have find out that the rate of reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of what of a right or concentration of what of b as you may have it so what are we going to now mathematically will mean that what the R is directly proportional to what to the concentration of what of a okay so in this case if we want to do away with this what sign of what proportionality we need to introduce a constant k all right so if i'm introducing the word that uh, constant rather so what arrow is equal to what now k into the concentration of what of a and in this case we can easily say that what that the word that the uh, equation is what is first order what equation okay is first order with respect to what to a why because uh a concentration of a if you stand alone like this means that it's raised to the power of what of one isn't it that's simple as that so know that what this a alone standing standing by so even you you as a human being are standing by yourself raised to the power of one you raised to the power of one will not change you it will not change you you will still be you so if you raise the human being to the power of one are still going to have what that same human being it will not change so that is why that arrow is equal to what k concentration of a raised to power one will not change what this it will not change a to anything okay now so that means that the word that the equation is what is first order we say is first order okay with respect to a now another thing we may find out is that two is that the rate of reaction is proportional directly proportional also is proportional to the square to the square of the concentration of a this is another thing we may find out we also find out that the rate of reaction is proportional to the square of the concentration of a so that mathematically if why what bringing that out it means that what well, if the concentration of A increases by a factor of 2, right? Let's say concentration of A increases by a factor of 2. That means the, the rate of reaction will increase by a factor of what? Of 2 squared. 
because it's, a, it's direct proportionality you is still direct but we are saying that rate of reaction is proportional to the square of the concentration of what of a that means if the concentration of a increases by a factor of two the rate of reaction will increase by a factor of what, two square okay if the rate of reaction increases by a factor of what of three of three that means that what so if the concentration of a concentration of a increases by a factor of three that means the rate of reaction will increase by a factor of what of three square all right that is nine okay so whatever happens to a whatever happens to the concentration of concentration of a the rate of reaction will increase by square of what of that what increase or decrease as you may have it all right so that is that for that so mathematically we are going to impute this it means that what arrow is directly proportional to what to concentration of a what squared okay so if i do away with this sign of proportionality r because of what k a square okay this will show us that what that the equation here is what the second order with respect to what to a is second order because there's a power of what of two on top of what the concentration of what of a this is what second order this is second order all right now these are what we'll be able to draw from what from the result of what of our experiment all right that the rate of reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of a and then we had r equals to what k a making it first order and that two the rate of reaction is proportional to the square of the concentration of a and this arrow is directly proportional to what a square meaning that what that the equation is what is second order all right so as we have seen if the result that we find out is that what the rate is proportional to the square of a then we say that what that that equation is what or that reaction is what is second order with respect to that particular reactant we're talking about okay but if it is what directly proportional to the concentration of a or concentration of b if it's to concentration of b we will say that what that r is because of what k b isn't it it's because of what concentration of what of k b isn't it as simple as that if it was to be directly proportional to the concentration of b all right so what would have, what would have had is not k a again the word the k b because this one is, is with respect to b but this is is with respect to what to a as simple as abc just understand how easy it is okay now i haven't seen that this now tells us that well we are able to uh, totally what understand what what uh um what a uh, order of a reaction is okay so a reaction can be actually be zero can be zero order can be first order can be second order can be third order corresponding to calculated values of zero one two and three respectively all right now i want to do one final what experiment to completely drive the point home so that we completely what understand now but for this now we cannot find the what the overall order of the equation the overall order of the equation all right so that we, we, we will not first of all what write the rate the rate of the reaction the overall rate because this is one experiment all right we can write the overall rate of the reaction we have here that what arrow is equal to what kb and we also have here that arrow is equal to what ka square okay let's say this is what we found at the end of our experiment this one we found this one to be correct and then we found this one to be correct all right so if we want to now write the overall rate equation r now we are going to have, we are going to have r is equals to k all right we have a square concentration of a square then we have b concentration of what of b so what i mean by overall rate equation is by what just combining what the two results okay so we have r is equals to what k a square then we are not going to put k again here because it's one equation we are looking for okay one k we serve one rate constant we serve for both of them the arrow is going to what kb we put it here that means that the overall order of this reaction overall order is equal to what now two for concentration of a then one for concentration of what of b which is equal to what now theory simple as a b c right okay so now let's see uh um uh, a simple experiment involving a reaction between three substances a b and c to give us what a, a fourth substance d all right we are going to be seeing what what happens to the rate as the concentration of what each of these reactants will change and then we're going to draw up what a conclusion all right 
and then we'll now solve questions from the old to the school jamba please make sure you download your app make sure you download it download it today and activate it for as low as three thousand dollars as at the time of, sh of shooting this video it may increase over time okay do not forget to like this video also do not forget to subscribe to this channel all right and do not forget to keep sharing our uh, videos to other ones i'll make this part very fast so that i can be i can be able to drop what the table all right let me take this off now all right so welcome back so this is our table we have a table giving us what uh theory uh, reactant a b and c combining to form a, a a product d okay and then we are giving the award their concentration at some particular times and then we are giving what the rate at what at those times okay now let's let's start with a let's start with a let's look for the order of reaction because what this uh, table is trying to make us uh, do is what to so find the order the overall order of the reaction the overall order of the reaction is what we are looking for so now let's start with a when the concentration of a no concentration is in mole per dmq but when the concentration of a was 1.0 at time t1 okay at time t1 when the concentration of a was 1.00 right if you see that the rate here is what 0 0.120 okay so at time t1 t1 uh, a it was what when a was what was one mole per dm cube okay when the concentration of a was one mole per dm cube rate was what 0 0.120 now let's see what happens when the concentration of what of a changed okay because at this point it is not changed at this point it is not changed but at this point okay when the concentration of what of a changed to two mole per dm cube you can see what happened to the rate the rate change towards 0 0.480 okay okay so at um at two mole per dm cube arrow was what 0 0.480 if you look at it very well okay what's the difference between year and year 0 0.120 or sorry 0 0.480 is, is times four of 0 0.120 that means that what that the, that the rate of four of the reaction in of the react of the reaction increased by a factor of what of four times four because four times this is what will give you this and four is what is same thing as what two raised to power two okay so it's as easy as abc so what is what is trying to make us understand is that what when the concentration of a was one the rate was what 0 0.120 but when the concentration increased to what to two the rate was what was now what 0 0.480 which is what uh times four of what of the initial rate that means it's increased by a factor of four. And factor of four is what? Two raised to power what? Two. That means we can simply write that the rate for A, rate, arrow because to what now? K, rate constant, concentration of what? Of A squared. Okay? We can simply write this for what? For A. Meaning that what? That this word for A, the equation is what? Is second order. Right? It's as simple as ABC. So for A, the equation here is what? Is second order. All right? Now, that is for A. So let us find out, let us write that one at one place. We know that what R for the first one for A, R was equal to what now? K concentration of A square. Okay. Now, number two, let's go to number two. Or well, let us just clean, let's clean the first one because we have found our result. Okay. At R is equal to what? K concentration of A square. Remember here, so 0 0.120. Okay. Now, let us not claim B. B, this is 1.00. This is 1.00. Okay? Now, let's look for B now. Now, at time T1, at time T1, when the concentration of B was 1 mole per dm cube, concentration for B now, at time T1, B was, was 1 mole per dm cube. The rate was what? Arrow was what? 0 0.120 okay now let us now look for when the concentration of what of b changed now when the concentration of b changed to 2.00 right that is 2 mole per dm cube the rate changed to what now look at it trace it it changed to 0 0.240 0 0.240 is two times of what 0 0.120 times what times two of this and because of this two times two of this same thing as what 
increasing by a factor of 2 raised to the power 1, isn't it? Like I said, anything raised to the power of 1 is what? Is that same thing, okay? So we are able to find out what happened to what? To B. What happened to the what? To the rate when what? Concentration of what? Of B changed, okay? That means the concentration of what? Of, of B when it's increased by a factor of what? Of 2, you can say that what? That the rate increased by a factor of what? Of 2 also, okay? Now, so as simple as ABC, we can simply write the rate equation for this one to be because what? R is equal to what? K, dealing with B now, raised to power what? 1. Okay, so we can now claim for B and also write what that reaction R is equal to K B raised to power 1. We may not need to overwrite it at all because you see the same thing. Okay, now let's go to C. Now, when the concentration of as time T1, when the concentration of C was what? What 1 and C? The rate was what 0 0.120 is very evident here. When the concentration of C was one, the rate was 0 0.120. But when the concentration of what C changed to two here, the rate was 0 0.960, which is almost times eight of this. Eight times 0 0.120 is what will give you 0 0.960. All right. So um, evidently eight is same thing as what two raised to power three, isn't it? If you did your indices very well, if you have not. There's a full video dedicated to what indices on this channel. So please search for it under the mathematics playlist. Watch it and understand indices very well. Okay, because it's going to be needed in your chemistry, in your physics, are going to use it. So do not run away from me. Do not shy away from me. Don't say I'm doing medicine. It's biology that concerns me. All right, you will need mathematics in your every you cannot escape from it. Okay, now so that is two to power three. That we can write that what that the rate. You cannot arrow equals to what now k for concentration of c or is by what now theory okay so for c it is what it is arrow is equal to k concentration of c raised to power what theory now we'll be able to what to decipher what what happened to what to a b and what and c okay now our aim is to look for the overall order of the reaction <clears throat> okay so what do you need to do the first thing to do is to combine all the rates together okay so to now have one single rate of reaction so that r now will be equal to what now k the rate constant k k which is the rate constant is equal to into what a raised to power two then we don't need to write another k here because there's one k here already so concentration of b then i don't want to write we don't need to write another k here also because we have one k here concentration of c raised to power what it's part three. So that the overall order, overall order of the reaction will be equal to what now? The powers will sum what the powers of each of the reactants. All right? We we'll sum the powers of each of the concentration of the reactants. So that I'm going to have two plus here is what is one, then plus here is what is three, which is equal to what now? Six. Simple as ABC. So this is how we found the find what the order of what. Of a reaction with somewhat the powers or the concentration of each of the reactants of each of the reactants please know that and know peace is very 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 easy to understand individually this equation for a a is second order b is first order c is third order okay like i said uh, order of reaction may be zero may be first order may be second order may be third order Corresponding to calculated values of 0, 1, 2, and 3, respectively. Okay, now please, there's one thing you need to know. If the order of reaction is 0, we don't include it in this final word equation. We don't include it at all, right? We don't include it in the overall order, right? If the equation, if the, sorry, if the order of reaction is 0, we don't include it in the overall order. Why? Because anything raised to power 0, right? If you have, let's say, D now, for example, concentration of D raised to power 0, all right? We will not need to add it here at all. It will not show in the what in the in the final order because n to the power zero is what is one. This will change this one. Everything here to what one. Okay, so it will not now be what be useful. Okay, so or for example, even if it is even if d is here, and then you want to add the zero to this place, it will not change the value. Will it? It will not. So that is why we don't usually uh, add what the zero order to what to the. Find out what general order of the word of a particular reaction.
Okay, please no, also note another thing that was that the order of reaction can be decimal. It, it does not mean that it must be an whole number. So, can have 1.76, can have 1.14 as what as the order of a reaction. It is acceptable, it is very, very correct. Okay, and notice how we what we found the overall order by summing what the powers of what of each of the concentration of the what of the reactants. Okay, so having had this knowledge now, let us attack some questions from the O3 Schools Jam app. If you have downloaded your app, join me. Let's solve that first question we showed before we began this class. Okay, that is a 1999 question. A 1999 question. All right, let me open my app on my phone. Okay, it's open. It's a 1999 question number 26. It's been shown on your screen right now. They said x plus x plus y to give you z. All right, uh, and then they said. The rate equation for the chemical reaction above, that is R, is equal to what now? K into what? X square. All right? Then Y. Okay? And then they say the overall order of the reaction is, is very, very simple. Somebody that doesn't know this and I will now go and fill it. One with two free marks for you, you just fill it anyhow. Right? You do what is not good. It's very bad. Okay, so please, to, to find with the knowledge we have had from what from, from this class, we can solve this question without what even blinking. Okay, so we can say that what rate here, uh, the, the order of the question, order of the reaction here, will be close to what now? The powers, you add the powers to them plus what is the power on top of y here? It's one. It is not easily written, right? But it is one. Okay, so please note that. So overall order will be close to what? Three. You can see very well there that is what option d okay and we did with the explanation on the app so that's what the app offers you after just give we don't not just give you the answer we also give you why this is the answer okay so please download your app and activate today then let's say another question from um 1998 it's a 1998 question 30 1998 question 30 it's been displayed on your screen so let's go ahead they said 2x plus y is equals to okay gives you z two ox plus y gives you z the same in the question above the rate of formation of z the rate at which z is formed from the question please listen to the question very well they say the rate of formation of z is found to be independent of the concentration of y they say the rate of formation of z and eh, when z is being formed it was found to be independent. That means it, it did not depend on the on what on the concentration of y at all. Okay, it did not depend on the concentration of what of y. If you if you miss that part, you have failed the question. If you miss that part, you have failed the question. Okay, so we are told that the rate of formation of z is found to be independent of the concentration of y. That means concentration of y no join in no join this question at all concentration of y no join job like is raised to power zero so it will not be added to our final was results so now they said is found to be independent of the concentration of y and quadruple when the concentration of x is what is doubled okay and quadruple when the concentration of what of x is doubled okay that means when the concentration of what of x is what is doubled that is uh, times two when it is doubled the what the rate is quadruple the rate became what quadruple quadruple is what is four is four right if they say somebody gave it to what to quadruple right yep give it to four children so quadruple is what is four all right so when the concentration of x was doubled from the question when the concentration of s was doubled right the rate of formation of z quadrupled right that is increased by a factor of four and a factor of four is same thing as what two raised to power what two, isn't it? It's as simple as that. Okay, so with that, we have our answer. They say the correct equation for the reaction is you can see a a we are given r is equals to k x concentration of x and concentration of what of y. All right, this one is very wrong because it is wrong because first of all, y is it is independent. The rate of formation of z was independent of y, so this one don't feel wrong because. Is just a power one here, so it's not among. So let's look at B. The set R is equal to K concentration of X square. 
concentration of y again we are still adding y here because y is here is wrong already okay now c they are giving the word we're, we're giving r r is equals to k now i are giving x x raised to the power zero and then we are giving uh y raised to the power two this one is also wrong because it, it was independent on the what on the what on the concentration of y so why giving y anything here is useless makes the answer very wrong now let's look at d d says that what that arrow is equals to k into what x square then y raised to power what? zero this seems to be the perfect answer because as you can see here when the concentration of what of uh, x was doubled the rate of formation of z increased by a factor of four which is 2 raised to the power 2. Taking the power now, it will be on x, 2 raised to the power 2. And because it's independent on the formation, on the concentration of y, right, of course, we'll see that what y raised to, uh, concentration of y raised to the power 0 is the perfect answer. So that the overall order will be independent on what? On y. So if you want to find the overall order here, it will be what? 2 plus 0, which is what? 2. That means this y, concentration of y, it did not what affect the final result. Okay? So you have to work be very patient go and watch the video from the beginning if you thought if maybe you thought before that we we're playing and we we're uh, explaining rubbish so like some of you would think okay so go to the beginning of the video watch the game understand the concept and then come back solve this question with us go to the app search for use question search feature to look for what the uh uh, uh under chemistry look for order of reactions you see many questions on other reactions begin to answer them gain confidence and you see that uh you are strolling to the top of your exam all right i'll see you in the next class thank you for watching